Okay, everyone, um, here are the brownies that I made. They look kind of funny because because I I made the brownie I made the brownies in a round pan and um, yes. Yeah, so anyway, yeah, um, I had it in the fridge because there is a little fly around here and I don't want it to get on the on the. I didn't want to cool off the the brownie out here because I didn't want that little fly getting on it once it cooled off so I ha I've, I've had it in the fridge cooling off and I just had another try and it tastes really good so if you guys are going to do the recipe as I made it because I, I did adjust as I mentioned earlier in the other videos that I, I adjusted the recipe and if you're going to do that go ahead but if you want to try it out the way the the person did it in the video where I learned how to make this these brownies and go ahead and do that too but um yeah I don't know how I don't know how it tastes the way the the person did it in the video because like I said I did change up the recipe just a little bit so but I don't know um try it out try out like I either way try out which one you're gonna you know try out this recipe or the one in where the person did it in the video and then let me know what happened and then Post your videos, you know. If you are watching on Facebook, then post it here and let me let me see how it turned out. Tell me how it turned out for you. And um, if you tried both recipes, then let me know which one you liked better. And uh, what this is missing is some icing. So I'm going to look on on YouTube to see if I can find another recipe for how to make icing. Yes, because the other one, the other icing that I made, like I said, it was not that great, but I did get accustomed to it. But I. There has to be something a little bit better than that, and um, well, oh yeah, that's right. Because the way, when the way I did mine, it was kind of grainy, very gritty. Because the sugar that I made, the sugar that I used, I pulverized it in the blender, but I didn't pulverize it enough so that it would become a an absolute powder. Right? It, it became a powder, but it was still gritty. So, but I think that that's the only issue. It just didn't. It didn't become no there were two issues it was gritty and the overpowering flavor of the the, the vanilla ex no not vanilla the almond extract yes it was the, the almond extract the, the the recipe called for vanilla but I, I had run out of vanilla so I used almond and the almond extract made a very powerful overpowering coffee flavor it was good I did get used to it but I think um, if you're going to serve it to people, you might knock them out. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, so um, yeah, that's, this is what I have here. Okay, guys, so if you're going to, um, like I said, if you're going to try it out, just let me know because I'm so curious. All right, guys, thanks for coming. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to click subscribe and click on the bell so that you will be notified for each time that I upload a video. And um, yeah. Thanks for coming. Los quiero a todo mundo. I love you very much, everybody. God bless you. Dios los bendiga. God bless everybody. Chao, chao.